Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I wanted to talk about my newfound opinions on the Steam Machines and why I think they may actually fail. Not completely. They still do have an audience, but it's not huge. I'll tell you why right now. And that is that PC gamers are going to build their own PCs. Normally they're huge techies that enjoy building PCs and can do that kind of thing. But making a console for the living room will only appeal to those people. And most of the people that will move their PCs into the living room and do things like that will build it themselves with some sort of micro ITX or mini ITX or um, mini I mini ATX sorry case and Valve's trying to do that but they're trying to make it more accessible and make it appealing for console users and console users are not techies and they're gonna get the shit confused out of them by saying oh this one's optimized for silence it has great Corsair AF fans whatever you may say and this one's for performance. It has a GTX 770 or a AMD equivalent, you know? And console buyers are not going to give two shits. They're not going to know what to buy. It's... No, it's not going to happen with any console buyer. The only people that may buy this are PC gamers. But as I said before, PC gamers will be PC gamers. They will build PCs. They'll build a small form factor PC, move it into the living room run Steam OS on it if they want to do that sure yeah buy a Steam controller do that awesome great but they're not gonna go out buying one from Valve Valve's in the middle they're in this gray area of not being able to sell to anybody because the PC gamers are too high-tech to bother with any of this pre-built stuff by Valve and the console gamers are too low tech. I sound like an, a total dick when I'm saying that, but I'm not saying that in terms of they're idiots. I'm just saying that they don't want to get into all that tech stuff that comes with building a PC. That's why they're console gamers. And they're too low tech to, you know, have to bother with the hardware that goes into this. And that's the problem with the Steam Machines. There's so many that the hardware will confuse console gamers and PC gamers won't want to buy it. That's, you know, Valve just put them in this gray area and I think if they would have done one Steam box and that been it and run Steam OS and you could buy a Steam controller with it that would have sold like crazy and that's what we were all expecting before the first announcement was them to put out the Steam box which I believe was called the Piston back then and that's what everybody was expecting and that would have sold like crazy and been awesome but I think Valve has kinda messed up but nonetheless I think the Steam Controller and Steam OS will do very well anyways guys thanks for watching goodbye